Hello and welcome to Jurassic Reviews. On this episode, I'm going to go over the things I picked up at G-Fest and share with you some of the video I took there from the vendor room and other places at the convention. First, I want to give my initial thoughts on this year's G-Fest. I'm going to be honest, this was probably the most fun I've had at a G-Fest so far. I'm not sure if it was the group of friends I brought along or what, but I really didn't want it to end. The new hotel is awesome, as it's now at the much larger Hyatt Regency O'Hare, so everything felt less packed for the most part, and the architecture of the building was really cool to look at. The people there were awesome, and the various things going on held our interest throughout the weekend, like the demo of Gigabash, which I highly recommend checking out when it releases August 5th. There were a few downsides, like I think the dealer room was still way too packed, it was hard to maneuver through it at some points. Same goes for the costume parade, where I really couldn't get a good view of anything due to the amount of people gathered around it, so I don't have any footage from it. And the major thing missing was the artist alley, which along with the dealer room was always my favorite part of the convention. I know there's some behind the scenes drama most likely related to why it isn't there, but it needs to come back. I missed it a lot. Despite these things though, my friends and I had a blast. Before I just let the footage roll of the things we saw there, I want to show you the things my brother and I purchased from the vendor room. I make a list of things every year I want, and I try to get as many things as possible. Okay, so first up I bought another Hyper Hobby Glitter GMK Godzilla, which is one of my favorite Bandai figures. Next, I bought a Bandai Movie Monster series Titanosaurus. This is another one of my favorite Bandais. I already had two of them that I purchased back at GFest X in 2003, and wanted to get another sign by the guest who was there, which was Tomoko Ai, who played Katsura in Terror of Mechagodzilla. I also got a Bandai Godzilla 1999, a figure I didn't have for some reason. I was also sent a Godzilla 1999 theater exclusive over the weekend by a really awesome person on Reddit named Jameson, who saw that I collected Godzilla things after seeing a post of mine on the Jurassic Park subreddit. I just want to give a shout out to her. I was really shocked when she messaged me and asked if I wanted it. I'll keep it displayed right next to my standard 1999. Also, there's a link in the description to her paleo-themed jewelry shop called the Fossil Philosophy Shop. So be sure to check that out. Next, I bought two Bandai Theater exclusive Godzilla Tokyo SOS figures, which are the Godzilla and Mechagodzilla figures. The big purchase for the weekend was the X Plus 30cm Space Godzilla, which my brother and I went in on together. I normally don't buy X Plus figures at G-Fest, as I get enough of them throughout the year, but I do not have too many Space Godzilla figures, and the price was surprisingly reasonable on it. These are becoming hard to find and sought after. I think I saw 5 total at the convention, and they were all sold by day 2. Like the last G-Fest three years ago, I also managed to find some Jurassic Park stuff. In this case, a bunch of boxed Lost World human figures. My brother actually purchased these, as Jurassic Park stuff is the main thing he looks for there. And that's it for my G-Fest haul. Now here's some footage from throughout the convention mostly in the vendor room, game room, and model room. Enjoy. <laughs> 